starting in three, two, one. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, as you can probably see, I have a special guest. Why don't you introduce yourself? It's me, Frida Kahlo. It's me, Hannah. Yes, this is Hannah, my sister. Oh, you can introduce me as your sister? Yeah. Oh. Hannah, I have like 18 subs. I know. Only 18 people. Most of the people live here. It doesn't matter. It's me, his sister. Hi, welcome to his YouTube channel, D20 in Disguise. It's about Dungeons and Dragons. He makes miniatures. I'm his special guest for today, Hannah. My sister. Do you have a jingle? Oh, the creepy clown music. That's Jurassic Park. No, that... oh, it's so fun to be here, Caleb. This has been a dream of mine since yesterday when you asked me to do this. <laughs> Just play it like twice with me. You hated it too, because I was so good at it. Like you would not believe how good I was at it, but I hate it, so yeah. I will admit you're a good role player, but... I'm just great at everything. So in today's video, we're going to be giving each other prompts, and then that opposite person is going to have to... Create a campaign based on that Not prompt. a campaign, adventure. There's a difference. It's, 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 yes, it's, 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 yes, there is. Without further ado, we're going to get into the video. Welcome to D20 in Disguise. Do -do 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 -do. You needed to wait longer. Do -do 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 -do. It's not Jurassic Park. Do -do -do -do. Okay, so we're going to start out by me giving Hannah a prompt, and she's going to make a completely on-the-fly adventure just in the moment. So, let's see. First prompt. Jungles from the future. Okay. So, there's a goblin and his name is Todd. And Todd is like, he struggles. He's an alcoholic. <laughs> okay. This is supposed to be a family-friendly channel. Being an alcoholic? Wait, that is not... Yeah. He is addicted to ginger beer. Okay, he's addicted to ginger beer, and he's a mechanic. He fixes people's wagons. Oh my goodness, I have jungles in this. Okay. He fixes people's wagons, and there's a lot. He lives next to this really ruddy road. Um, but, psych, surprise, you didn't realize he was actually the one who made all the ruts because he wanted people's wagons to break down. Mm, before, exploiting the system. Before, but... He did it one time when he was in a haze of ginger beer, so he doesn't realize that it was him. Mm. And this road leads to a jungle. But, so, Todd, living his ginger beer infused life. I wanted to say drunk, but it's family friendly. Okay, he lives his ginger beer infused life, trying to make it by with a super ruddy road. One day, a wizard goes by, mm -hmm. and this wizard is a time wizard. Like, he specifically knows how to manipulate time. I okay. don't know if that's a thing. Don't that, that, really no, care. No, no, that's okay, a thing. Okay, time wizard. Thing. He is running down the road. He just got his carriage tuned up, got the oil changed. Mm -hmm. He's living his best life. So, mm -hmm. then, his wagon, like, just breaks into a thousand pieces on this <laughs> ruddy road. And Todd, he comes out, he's Remember like... Remember, you have to make this an adventure. I know, I'm getting there. Hold on. He's like... Because <laughs> he's... He's been hitting the ginger beer. So he's doing that, and then um, the wizard is like, oh man, I realize this. He looks into the past, and he's like, he sees that Todd is the one who made the road so ruddy. He is mad. So he makes it so that anyone who visits Todd's house, this is Todd's punishment to make sure all his customers go away. Anyone who visits Todd's house, once they leave, they go into a portal that sends them into the future in this jungle. Okay. But it's all different alternate futures. 
And so, it's like fractions of the space-time continuum. This wizard is not stable either. Uh, the Adventurer's Quest, Todd gets his life together. He goes to Ginger Beer. Wait, he gets his life together? Ginger. That quickly? No, he, it's like over a couple of years after he loses so much. Oh, business. okay. So, a couple, couple years. This is the backstory. Ginger Beer, a Holics Anonymous. He goes there. They fix him up. He is great. And he's like, this is just destroying so many people's lives that they're getting sent to all these alternate dimensions. And instead of, like, a sane person, like, putting up a sign and moving somewhere else, he hires the adventure team Paw Patrol that your players are a part of and gets them to fix the fracture of time by hunting down the wizard and convincing him to change it. You know what, actually? That would be a pretty cool adventure. Yeah. There's also a Bogart. Bogart. A Bogart. Oh, a Bogart. Okay. That lives in this jungle. That's the only one. A single one, because it is so crazy that it ate all the other monsters. But the wizard is friends with it, so you have to fight that, too. So it it's just fighting against the wizard. No, it's friends with the wizard. And the Bogart. Like, there's other parts to it, but that's like, the main fight. Wizard, Bogart, Paw Patrol, Adventure Team. Fight. Go. Your prompt is la, 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 la. nothing with dimensions cannot be dimensions. That's a rule. Okay. Oh, I've got it. The king's child is a werewolf. King's child is werewolf. Who? It's too easy. Who? I know. That's why I'm gonna make it harder. A werewolf. But he's like, okay, so he's not a werewolf. He's like a werewolf, but instead of, like, every full moment he turns into a werewolf, he turns into... Into the king himself. What? The king's child, every full moon... Is he a werewolf? No. It's something happens every full moon, but I don't know what it is. He turns into a box. A starfish. Turns into a starfish? Yes, a starfish. Go. Okay. So, and backstory. And the quest time. cannot be about rescuing the starfish or undoing the curse. He's happy with it. He's happy with it? Okay, go. Oh. Oh, the kid is happy with The kid is happy with it. The king kind of hates it, but he can get over it. Okay. Live your best life, son. Okay. He says. So, backstory time. So, the king, which is the ruler of Arcadia, random name. Okay. Hate it so much. Shut up. So, the king, he's the king of Arcadia. And a while back, he, he married his wife. She's a beautiful damsel named Matricia. We don't like damsel. We are feminists. I want to look. Uh, we are yay women. They can save themselves. Okay. Beautiful okay, lady. she's a beautiful woman named Matricia. Yeah, Matricia. Okay, so <laughs> Matricia, they had this child, and his name is Bob. I'm gonna explain your life story like this at your funeral. His there's, name. The, there's this dude, Caleb, he marries this damsel named, like, whatever her name is. Okay, okay, <laughs> give me a minute. I'm sorry, I'm terrible. King. Of Arcadia marries Matricia, and then they have Bob. And Bob, he is a very smart child. So he's like apprenticing with wizards and stuff, and. Shut up. I didn't even say anything, I just looked at you. I saw the, I saw the glint in your eyes. With wizards and stuff. With wizards. That sounds like, like a department store. Wizards and stuff. Get your wizards. Get medium ones. And wizards for rent. Little ones and like big skinny ones. And they, there can be exotic flavor teriyaki wizards. <laughs> get your teriyaki wizards. Get them while they're fresh. So he's apprenticing with wizards and he is learning all of the spells and he wants to become an adventure, right? What a dude. His name is Bob. He has nowhere to go but up. <laughs> he wants to become a adventure, but his dad, he, he doesn't want that. 
So our dad's name is Bob. I don't actually hate Bob as a name. I don't know. So secretly, the king hires a wizard. A teriyaki wizard. A teriyaki wizard from wizardsandstuff.org. <laughs> it's so. a website too. Team, you know, we just like to take a moment and now an ad break. Yeah. Do 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 Wizards and stuff. Get a teriyaki flavored. Or steak flavored. Ew. Steak wizards? <laughs> or gumball flavored. You could also buy golems. I don't know any other monsters in this game. Golems, mimics. Mm. But mostly wizards. It's like wizards. No. Mm stuff. No, it's no, mm uh, stuff. Uh, like the Western mimics Western. and stuff, they're in the little rack by the register. You know where they have all the random stuff, like, like the chocolate like bars and the gum they have, like, Lego and sodas. Sets. Yeah, the little Lego sets, they have which three are like pieces tiny. And are five yeah, dollars. yeah, exactly. So those are the cheapo things you right by so, the register. Whenever you get excited, your voice gets so loud. You're like, when you're talking about being my sister, you're like, oh yeah, when you're like, well, then when you talk about anime, you're like, Here I go to Masumi! Oh, here, hold my, hold my juice. Hold on, I'm gonna... All right! <laughs> okay, so he marries... Matricia. <laughs> I don't think about her. <laughs> and then they have so Bob. So gonna be with your wife. And when I go off to college, you're just gonna be like... Oh yeah, my sister, the banana, the the Snickerberg. Oh, it was Hannah. <laughs> and he wants to become an adventurer, but his dad is super against this, right? So he mm. hires another wizard to. How does Matricia feel? Doesn't tell Matricia. That comes in later. What? He, he doesn't tell. Just Does give it a minute. This king is stupid. Bob. This king is stupid. Wait, the king doesn't tell his own wife? No. This is not how to have a marriage, my friends. No, I, give it a minute. Okay, so the king, he has his wizards wizard. and stuff sell marriage counseling books. <laughs> wizards and stuff. The divorce papers are right next to the teriyaki wizard. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Sorry. Anyhow, he has a wizard to turn, like, to polymorph Bob into like a creature for a short while mm -hmm. and then he's gonna like essentially like show him that adventuring is a super dangerous thing that you shouldn't do but why does he have to be an animal for that the sh like he's essentially gonna put him in harm's way but like actually not put him in harm's way so like so it's oh, gonna be like an illusion you're a squirrel oh here's an illusion fox look life is dangerous live in your house forever yeah so he hires the wizard, but accidentally the wizard is actually super evil he and turns him into school a wizard. He turns him into a starfish. So the king is like, "What? What do I even do with this?" And it's actually permanent. So now that the son is permanently turned into a starfish, now he he doesn't really know what to do. Now actually, starfishes have eyes on each of their legs. I did know that actually. Yeah. So like this kid is like. Always watching. Is it a giant starfish? Just like a regular sized one? I'd say regular sized. Okay. So he is literally always crawling around and watching people. Every step you take. And so every move this, you make. this king, and this kid is like just turning 13, so he's just going through adolescence. And Who is he watching? Just around the house. Does he become a blackmailer? <laughs> so this keepers. this starfish child, he's like crawling around. It sounds in like a really like the like fence. a remake of the Little Mermaid. <laughs> the starfish <laughs> child. In You're not one, wrong. Ariel's legs are just starfish legs. I can just <laughs> kick Eric in the face. He's crawling under the doors. I don't know. He's... This went from like weird fairy tale to like horror. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Comedy horror. <laughs> the curse of the starfish okay, child. Okay, so then the starfish child, he's like, he like, I'm gonna steal your idea. He starts blackmailing people around the castle. Is this an adventure? Is this just some book you're gonna write? Just wait. So he starts black to every bookstore near you. The starfish child. He starts blackmailing everybody around the castle, including his own parents. So th th they're pretty mad about this. So they're like, if my son turns to a starfish and then blackmail me, I like guess who's going back to the ocean, fool. <laughs> <laughs> So, essentially, what the parents want from the adventures is that they either stop his bad habits. And so, the king and his wife hire the adventures to just whip this starfish child back into shape. So it's boot camp. I guess. Starfish shoes. Eyeball camp. Goggles camp. Okay, my prompt for you is snail bodybuilders. Snail bodybuilders? Yes, it is. Okay. So, off the coast of Signar, there's been a strange discovery. Mm -hmm. There's been underwater caverns discovered by a halfling farmer which was looking for a secluded island to farm on. Did he go underwater? No. He just saw some lights under the water. So he went to investigate and found out that there was a cave with a glowing entrance. <laughs> so he brought back like a local wizard and like got himself to cast like water for a year. And they traveled down and found out. Was it a teriyaki wizard? No. <laughs> it was a chicken wizard. Chicken wizard? That sounds like a weird dish in Chick fil A. Chicken wizard! And you're right. Oh. For this summer only, the chicken wizard is back! So, this strange cavern was discovered and they went down and found out that a race of snail people were living there, okay? And they were just having their humble old life, right? Living their best life. Hashtag thriving snails. I am a wizard. I have 200 followers on Instagram. How many subscribers do you have? I'm not gonna answer that question. How many games? Hannah, how much longer how have you had that many? account? How many? How many? You gotta answer first. 18. 18 subscribers. Or 17. I don't know if I'm subscribed. I don't think I... <laughs> Probably aren't. You're my own sister. And I'm gonna be honest. Hold on. Go ahead and why not shamelessly promote my channel right now, Hannah? No. Oops. Not You actually. should shamelessly promote my channel. Come on, do it for me. I'm not shameless. I'm... No. See, this is what everyone should be doing. You should be getting your Please. phone out right now or switching Wanting. tab over and then... Clicking that little subscribe button and this guy's under the video right next to my channel so name, and then after you click the subscribe button, You're and then video. you should go over, hit the bell, and it says all notifications, and then you'll be notified every time I make a video. Videos. Creating an entire world on the fly? Miniature menagerie, forest scatter to eat, tabletop rivers. Um. Dirt cheap custom dungeon tiles. Creating an entire world on the fly? Part two. I split the video into two parts. I'm the scared. Prospector's Power Glove and my face. <laughs> Shut up. It was actually pretty funny. Go you ahead, watch it. Watch, you did watch an it. unboxing of your face. YouTube is a black hole. Okay. Snail body builders, go. So they find the snails in the cavern and they're living their lives. And, um,. Hashtag thriving, hashtag They're just, like, Twitter. fishing from underneath the ocean. And, um, it turns out that they have a whole, like, defensive platoon of snails, which are super strong with the snail bodybuilders. And those snail bodybuilders have recently, they did a coup and took over the snails. And now the snails are 
starving. Subjects. Yeah. And so, the like the wizard couldn't care less. He got paid for the water and bread. But the, the he farmer, was like, he was, he, the farmer, son. he's like, oh no, the snail people, I don't even know them and met them like two seconds ago, but I feel bad. So I'm going to pay adventurers a bunch of money to save the snail people. He's a farmer. He's a farmer. Why? He, he feels money. bad. He doesn't have money though. He's a farmer. He'll pay everything. That he had for the snail people. He too was a member of Butter Beer Alcoholics Anonymous. Ginger Beer Alcoholics, what would you rate it an all rate? 10 out of 10. Cool. 15 out of 10. Um, that I'm gonna like rate it like, yeah, an 8 out of 10. Yeah, because it was decent, but it was confusing. And it had a lot of. Yeah. Okay, the Starfish Child, 9 out of 10. Some good moments in there. We kind of um, did that one together. Yeah, yeah, that was to be honest, that was collaborative. I have to get it on the list. Um, okay, what about the snail people? It was kind of Six basic. Out of yeah, it was kind of basic. Okay, it yeah. didn't really that have that much depth to it. No. Definitely Starfish Child and the Teriyaki Wizards. <laughs> teriyaki Wizards and Wizards and Stuff. Wizards and Stuff dot org. We're gonna do a little extra. We're gonna take, like, well, well thanks for all for- Please be sure to like and subscribe. Click below. Eat my I actually want you to do this. Okay, so essentially, and like, what like you do is like, oh, thanks for watching the video. We really hope you enjoyed it. It made you laugh at least a little bit. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or silly comments, comment them down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay. You just said all of it. No, I know, but I want you to say it in your own words. Okay, everybody, I what? I yeah. want you to like and subscribe to this channel because yeah, I hope that you enjoyed our video. Um, it was kind of fun. I'm super tired right now, so super super fun times. I don't know how many likes Caleb's other videos have, but the one with me should obviously have the most likes. Let's go for a five like quota. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> How many likes do your videos get? Two. Really? Shut up. You need to shut up. Goodbye. Goodbye. Don't slice me. Thank you.